start with a sky by just taking whatever blue you have in your kit and I'm just applying a little puddle right here. some water to it and now I'm going to start um, just applying it along the top kind of like when you were little and you used to draw a sky along the top with your crayons or your paint and when you get to about a third of the way I'm going to add some more blue to that this is going to be a soft sky background. I'm going to take a wet crunched up paper towel and start sponging in and taking off some of the paint just till we get kind of a, a nice cloudy effect. And we'll let this dry before we move on. But meanwhile, we'll go ahead and do the grass down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take my green. Same thing with the blue. Maybe add some uh, yellow to it. That's pretty. And add some water to that. And this is just gonna be the beginning part of our, our landscape and I'm just gonna brush it on to about here and then just go ahead and take your paintbrush and brush it up like this, going in kind of a grassy motion. This is all going to fade really nice and soft and we'll apply more paint on top of that. I'm going to do, I think we'll do red poppies. That'll be pretty. Springtime and all the flowers are in bloom, so this is a good time. Make sure your grass is going in all different directions. Okay, so let's let that dry before we move on to the next step. So I mixed some of my red and made a little puddle in here. And I added a little bit of orange to that, but you don't have to. And right now I'm gonna just go ahead and just put some shapes down. These don't have to be perfect. I'm going to do a field of poppies. And uh, just let them touch each other. some white showing that'll look kind of nice in the end you can touch some of the grass as well might want to go back and just kind of hit the middle of each flower with some more red and let that just bleed into what you've already done.
I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this really pretty magenta, and you probably have that in your palette, just to make a different shade of red, a darker red, and go ahead and hit the center on some of these, or just kind of just dot it, it really doesn't matter. We're just gonna give it another shade of red. This is a good place to stop and let's let this dry. Um, by the way, I always tape my uh, paper down, um, number one, so it doesn't move, but it also gives it a really nice border when we're done. So um, I forgot to say that in the beginning, but just always kind of just use this um, non-stick. It peels off really easy. So see, as I take it off, I would have a nice white border that back on and, and take it off when the painting's all done. So we're gonna let this dry and then we'll move on to the next step. So now we're gonna concentrate on doing some stems and I'm gonna go back to my green and let's see. And I have a smaller brush for this, but Basically, I'll start on this side and just start doing long stems all different directions. Remember, this is a poppy field, so there's really no um, pattern in this. We're just gonna just keep putting long stems right now. Try to keep it thin if you can. There's a lot of flowers here, so put some in here in the middle. of long lines like this is pretty. Okay. Now we're just gonna go ahead and do some fun leaves. And the way I do that is just some little strokes like this. You can put as many as you like, just keep going. Go ahead and put some inside of here. Just some little, just dab it like this. All different size leaves, because all the leaves are not the same size. And then just keep going all the way across. to put some more green paint in your well. Just add some paint and some water to that. And just keep dabbing. So relaxing, just doing easy stuff like this. Not, doesn't ha nothing has to be exact. So 
so pretty. And you might want to just go ahead and take some yellow and make a brighter uh, apple green color. And let's just go ahead and just hit that in a few areas, not as many, but just in a few areas, just so that it's just not one color green. So we'll just stop there and let this dry a little bit more before we move on to the next step. So now we're gonna take um, just straight black and I put some water in the black right here. I'm not even gonna put it over in the well. I'm just gonna put it right here. Want some strong black. And this might take a little time, but it'll look so pretty when it's done. But you're gonna start with one flower and you're just gonna put some little black dots in the center of each one. Because red poppies always have these little tiny um, black dots in the center. And these don't have to be perfect. This is just kind of a fun little painting. So don't worry about it being perfect. So I'm sort of just picking out what looks like a flower and putting in the middles. This is probably the last part of our painting. done here and um, you could you could call this done if you wanted to or if you wanted to add some more details you could for those of you who are a little bit more advanced I would just make some more of this red and maybe add a little of the magenta in it just to make it nice and deep and if you wanted to, you could, you know, just kind of outline some of the flowers. You don't have to, because it's really pretty on its own, as you can see. So I'm just kind of taking my paintbrush and kind of going around, try not to touch the black because the black is still wet. But I'm just kind of going around like this and just giving the shape of some of the flowers. But that's about it. You can just play with it and poppies are so pretty in the springtime especially in Provence um, and they are bright red so just have fun with this and when you're all done you're gonna want to slowly 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 take off your tape and you get this beautiful white border. When you're all done with your picture. 
So I'm going to keep working on mine and you can keep working on yours. And feel free to go to my website, paintingwithvictoria.com. I have some painting kits if you would like to send away for some of those. Or post your picture on my Facebook page. That'd be nice. Okay, have fun painting.